Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC, and we're, uh, well, we're on the quest of Wine Wars. And uh, we had the decision to go to either one of uh, those two peoples. Uh, I think it was Matilda, and I forgot the other guy's name. And there seems to be five problems at each vineyard. Uh, we're gonna do Vermentino first, the one on the west side, the one from uh, Matilda. And it seems that... Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell is that noise? So, we actually already did something for that vineyard, weirdly. I think that sounds like arch spores. And that's not gonna be good, so I'm gonna save first. There we go. So, game saved. Gonna use Quen, and then let's see what... But it sounds like arch spores. Yeah, 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 it's arch spores. Uh, I'm gonna use oil first. So, cursed oil. Oh, shit. So, we took a huge blast somewhere. So, yeah, those actually explode, so... So those explode as well, so that's probably why I got hit. There they go again. So that one's down. I think I now need to take care of the other one. Oh shit, yeah, I need to be careful. Oh, god damn it. They go for really annoying terrain sometimes. Oh wow, she's on the on the hillside here. Yeah, and there goes the other one. So that's it, right? Yeah, okay. So that's two arch spores dealt with. Let's take all that. Nice bit of loot. And I think the other one, yeah, the other one is right over here. And it seems it's going to be either her uh, herbalist or her blacksmith, probably. Um, hi? No? There's a lot of dead people here, actually. Heavy brass key, a letter on elegant stationery and fistic. Mm -hmm. A letter and a key. In a place read like this. Read these orders. Okay, thank you, Geralt. Can I can I read? Yeah, okay. Read these orders carefully, for I will not tolerate any blunders. Report to the agreed upon location tomorrow and collect the next delivery of seedlings. We must intensify our efforts to infest Vermentino. Be at pains to arrive on time. For the team from the other vineyard will be waiting. Do not forget the key. Huh. Apparently someone's sabotaging operations at Fermentino, but the letter doesn't say who. Hmm. Need to keep looking. Could still find out. Yeah, indeed. I could still find out. So let's take all this. Seems to be very interesting loot nonetheless. Hmm. Looks like an Arcaspore killed him. Arcaspore. I would just call them Archspores, but apparently not. Is there actually any loot here? Or was that loot? That was really bad if that was loot. Aside from that, don't see a, a chest like you usually see. Oh, or is this the chest? Doesn't really seem like a, a really nice treasure chest, though. Yeah, not that much. A few crafting materials, but that's apparently it, because the other things are corpses. So let's see. So now we can search Coronato for proof of sabotage as well. So Coronato is the other... Vineyard. I think I'm going to first check out what the rest of the problems are. And before we solve the last one, head to Coronato and check there. So what seems to be the next problem? We should be quite close. Seems like more arch spores, actually. I think we still have... Okay, yeah. We still have some relic oil equipped, probably.
Yeah, we still have Relic Oil equipped. There we go, just three hits. Now we know how to deal with those. Three hits and then back off. Unless it keeps attacking. Nope, keeps attacking. There we go. Down it goes. There seem those uh, quests seems to be all uh, related to just things that you normally find on the map, apparently, because this is an abandoned settlement. And then a day passes, apparently, and then the inhabitants should have returned. There we go. Look at that. People all around me, all of a sudden. Don't know why we need to meditate a complete day to do that, but. That actually passed the time quite nicely. There should be an archborg corpse around here somewhere. Unless they just blatantly removed it. Well, that's annoying. I think I can also loot most of the things in this place. I'm gonna do that. Thank you. And a chest with guardsman boots. Nothing of interest. And then there seems to be... A letter to a lover. Interesting. So let's read that. My darling Melanie, I write you this letter while lapping up the last rays of the sun, which is just now hiding behind the horrendous crest of Mount Gorgon. I shall not be a long letter. It shall not be a long letter for two reasons. The first, it will soon be too dark to write, and the second, I have important duties to attend to. Miss Matilda has ordered me to see to the security of the newly built vineyard on Pavone Slope, and to see it to see to it attentively, for ill business is afoot of late at our Vermentino. When not bandits, it's these yellow monstrous parasites. I'll spend some time here, withering with longing for you, my darling, like a vine pinging, pining for the touch of life giving light. Yours forever, Laurent. Well, that didn't work out. So that's the third task, so let's do the fourth task in a minute. So it looks like we're close to a homestead right now. Oh shit, yeah, okay. That was annoying. That, I didn't expect that. Well, I should, actually. I should have expected that. So two arch boars again. There goes one. And there it goes. Okay, so now was again two arch pours and again a, uh, a settlement that I needed to free apparently. There we go. Okay, so that's four out of five. So now I think it's a pretty good time to go and check out the Coronata. So I'm gonna loot this place and I'll see you guys in a minute at the Coronata. I must say, since Roach got the, those uh, stables that he can uh, rest in, he can sprint for ages. I mean, he doesn't... Oh, shit, that's a problem. And there we go. Okay, so that was the first problem, I suppose. So this is a monster's nest. Okay. So this is then the nest, Arcus I suppose. Will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. There we go. Uh, let's back away, back away, back away. Boom! And now, usually there's one other that spawns, but apparently not this time. Or maybe one just did and I got spooked. No, okay. So that's that. Now we can check out the thingy here as well and get a lot more loot. And that seems to be the first problem. Because I can't see... I thank you for the rescue. You're one fine fellow, Witcher. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, so let's go check out the next bit. Let's go! Seems m two more arch pours were uh, used to that by now. I think I got this one. Yeah, there we go. And there we go, that's the last one. So this was guarded treasure apparently, so maybe I'm gonna find the other 
while the other prove that we need that the Coronato is being assaulted by the same guys that are assaulting the Fermentino. Fermentino, that was it. Uh, so let's loot this guy. I'm gonna quickly loot everything here and I'll uh, cut right back to when we find actually something useful. Okay, orders on elegant stationery. There we go. So they are actually yeah, being uh, assaulted no by the same this people. Wound up here by accident. Family this time, and I'll skin that splotchy hide of your rump. Pick up the next batch of seedlings tomorrow from the Teshamutna hatchery. We need to infect another spot at Coronata, but don't be late because the team from the vineyard on the other side of the rivers got the key. V. Interesting. This node plus what I found earlier. Some third parties causing problems at the vineyards. Yes, Make indeed. The spot the letter mentions. Then I'll find so, something mighty interesting behind whatever door this key opens. So they used seeds from Teshamutna to create these arch spores. That's actually really, really interesting. But this place is still marked as a guarded treasure. So I'm going to loot that. Uh, probably that chest over there. And then I'm going to see you guys right where that door is supposed to be. That was actually really good. Let's see you guys in a minute. So this is kind of strange. The marker leads us back to Teshamutna. Okay, hi. Oh shit. A banshee. Uh, I don't think we actually need to fight you. I'm gonna just walk alongside you. So I'm gonna leave you there. Because I don't need to be here. Uh, but it's close to Teshamutna itself. So the ruins is where we fought that love, if you remember. At the end of the DLC. But we should go down here. I'm wondering what other buildings there are here then. Is there something linked to Teshamutna? Because they spoke about getting the archpoor seeds from Teshamutna itself. Oh, that sounded like more archpoors that popped up. I don't really see any yet. Seems like just a little house with a lot of loot, by the way. Let's lose all of this. Don't mind if I do. Anything else? Apparently not. Uh, or this? No, no, nothing here. No. Okay. So let's open this door then, I suppose. Locked. Huh. Find the place mentioned in the letter. Ooh, there seems to be a basement here as well. Search the warehouse. Okay. I'm gonna use Quendo. Don't want to get spooked here. Seems to be quite a bit of loot here as well. So let's grab all that. Just gonna start using the, the, the take all button. I never do that for some reason, but actually it goes a bit faster than me just taking everything. But I get a better look if I uh, take everything one by one as to what is inside of these chests, but they seem all to. Contain oh shit! Oh, oh, holy shit! Um, hi! Hi! You're a big fella! Oh shit, what's going on? I hear, I hear other noises. This thing is tough! Doesn't seem to attack me though. Doesn't seem to go anywhere. Uh, what is this? Because I'm just gonna keep on hitting you if you don't do anything. That was weird. That thing just didn't put up a fight. It was a big one though. Big arch bore. Um, There seems to be something in the back here that asks my interest. What is this? Are those those like arch bore thingies? Takes it to generate something like this. Need to incinerate them before they spew spores and spread. Okay. Incineration going on. I'll do that gladly. There we go. Destroy the arch bore seedlings. Are there more? Are there more? No, I think. Yeah, there we go. And then what's. What's with the noise? Jesus. Okay, let's loot this stock-taking report. Thank you for that. 
Site of stocktaking, Vespine Archpore Hatchery, codename Mushroom Farm near Teshamutna. Owner, Count Vladimir Crespi. Stock under review, Vespine Archpore Bulbs. Number 6, Dormant Bulbs, 24 buds without sprouts. Changes since last stocktaking, 12 bulbs. On Count Crespi's order, transported to Coronato and 6 transported to Vermentino. So Count Crespi is behind all this. Some bulbs are now too mature to be safely transported. These should be burned, otherwise they will sprout in the hatchery. Proves Count As did behind the this one. At both vineyards. Gotta tell Matilda and Liam. Yeah, because they are going to be interested in that, of course. I'm just gonna quickly check out the rest of this place and then we're gonna head back to Liam and Matilda. You so, we're back at the bridge, the so let's talk to Liam and Matilda and uh, let's see if we can't <laughs> Find Count Crespi. Master Witcher, have you any news? Yes, indeed. I know the saboteur's well, identity. The same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did, indeed, have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Oh, yeah. That's right. Say it, it wasn't Liam. That name sounded familiar, so that Crespi is the guy that uh, that <clears throat> off killed in, light of in the mill. Uh, the most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait just a minute. Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? It's yes, the optimal like friends. solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Three yeah, because you didn't have a reason to begin with. One. There's much to be gained. So be it. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. One question remains. What's to become of Coronata and Vermentino? Got caught up in the investigation. Still got problems there, but I'll clear them up. Excellent. Then we shall await news in the matter. Preferably good news. Okay then. That completes the Wine Wars quest though. So we completed all of those and now we only have Wine Wars consorting left. Those are just radiant quests, so just uh, defeating some monsters at certain areas, so I won't be doing those on screen anymore. So that's it for the Wine Wars. That's... Oh, wow. They keep coming, do they? Completed all of those. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I'm going to take a little break. If you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye!